Oh my goodness gracious, what's going on everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome, good morning, good afternoon. What is up, you people of Earth that watch eSports news? My name is Jake, welcome back to more eSports talk. Today we talk about the ongoing fight between governments and loot boxes, now striking CSGO. If you guys have not seen the progression about this, we've talked about it multiple times now here on this channel. The UK government, the US and Josh Hawley, people trying to target EA games, NBA K, uh, NBA K, NBA 2K20 being targeted very heavily, alongside that, Rock League now owned by Epic Games making their loot crate changes. Alongside that we also have uh, other changes being made and attacks being made by the French government. They've already made attacks on Steam. I shouldn't say attacks. That sounds very aggressive. They're trying to make disputes and arguments against the Steam platform. One of which was actually that people should own their games on Steam and thus be able to resell them. Alongside those arguments, they're trying to actually argue that yes, people should cash out or be able to cash out their Steam balance to real life money. And this attack does continue. Sorry, I keep on saying attack. This argument by the French does continue now against CSGO themselves with their loot crates. As of last night with a great update, guys, I would say one that will not affect the market, I think, and a lot of people are actually talking about this in, in too bad of a way. That being, yes, they have given all French players of CSGO x-ray vision and previously when it came to cases inside CSGO we already have Belgium I have friends out there from both Belgium and the Netherlands both those countries they just can't open cases anymore or sticker capsules I am sorry gamer tag and uh, I believe Aiden as well horizon you guys know who you are all my friends I've met uh, via CSGO a lot of them are in those countries they just can't open cases anymore when it comes to apparently this French dispute out there of some over legal action or maybe some foresight by valve themselves they have now made it so French players act Actually see what they're about to get before they get it but it's not near as abusive as it does sound so for all of you players out there who think you can just make as many accounts as possible and actually see what you're gonna get if it's not a knife you just move on to a different account that is not how it works so pretty much straightforward guys you pay 250 for the p250 x-ray once you pay that 250 you can then scan your first case and your first capsule after that though you must actually buy the case and what was actually revealed by that scan before you can scan another case so pretty much what that comes down to is you can, yes, scan one capsule and one case. I mean sticker capsules because those are different things there. But you must actually pay 250 to do so. And with the knife odds being as low as they are, it's actually not worth it. Valve is super smart here, in my opinion. I could be seeing this incorrectly, but this is super, super smart. No one in their right mind should be going around and paying 250 for the P250 just to see what's inside of a case. Because either way, you're spending 250 to reveal a knife, which the odds are 0.1%, so don't waste your money. I will say a slight difference out there between cases and capsules. With the case, you actually have to pay the price of a key. After buying that P250, every case will cost you about $2.50. So I guess if you want to pay $2.50, you can scan your first case and then and then, and then then take that item, uh, but then after that, you're going to be paying $2.50 each and every time. With a sticker capsule, you can still scan those as well, but because you already own them, well, you can actually see the item you're going to get, but you can only claim it, which it's not really that advantageous. If you're going to actually see a sticker capsule and see what's inside of it, it's not going to cost you anything to claim that. So you're not really, I don't think you can really take advantage of sticker capsules because you've already paid the price for them. Does that make sense? And with that, the French can't even buy cases off the market anymore. Now, I'm not sure if that applies to the, the cases on the main menu of CSGO, but like I said before, this will not be abused. This will not flood the market with knives, and again, that's my own opinion, but it's just not worth it based off the rates and the odds of knives in each and every case. Either way, if you guys want to scan a case, you'll be paying that price of 250 which by these knife odds is just not worth it. If anything, Valve is very, very, very smart about this. They've been very safe about whatever they're foreseeing, foreshadowing in the future of this French government targeting these loot crates, they have actually overshadowed that because now it's really not a game of chance. You actually know what you're about to buy if you decide to buy it. So it's very smart from Valve, almost very greedy from Valve because I do believe a lot of people out there will pay the 250 because they think it's advantageous when really you get a P250 that's not tradable, which is, by the way, kind of unfair, I, I will say. It's a decent looking P250. I don't know if I'd pay 250 for it um, in itself, but either way, guys, yes, the French get an un tradable item they get to scan their cases but it's really just valves workaround for whatever they do see the government doing about these loot crates 
Belgium, Netherlands, France, UK coming sometime soon, I'm very sure about that. Will America be down the line? Yes, loot crates all around the game are changing in several games out there, and this will be changing things in the economy of CSGO way, way down the line. It's making me a bit nervous. If you guys actually were here yesterday, we talked about this with Rocket League. They're switching to the item shop format, and I'm a bit scared for the CSGO market. I know it would, not, it would probably not happen, you know, very abruptly. We'd have some forewarning about this, but what happened to Rocket League? They're taking out crates entirely, putting in an item shop, and actually getting rid of trading. Imagine if that happens to CSGO. I'm pretty scared about it. I don't think it's coming anytime soon, and I really do not hope it does because... Uh yeah. As always, my name is Jake, breaking down CSGO news and other gaming news here all day long. I'll have a double upload of CSGO news and some other gaming news out there because these stories, they keep on rolling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you guys want to leave a comment, I read them. All right. Bye.